King's controversial Beyond Vietnam speech was denounced in the media, commentators said he stepped out of his depth and threatened to undermine the movement by alienating his allies. Even some African American leaders said King should stay focused on civil rights, despite his argument that U.S. actions abroad were connected to oppression at home. Today, many Democrats have embraced an issue that hasn't traditionally been on the list of priorities for people of color, climate change. In 2018, a few months after President Trump called climate change a hoax, newly elected Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said during a climate change town hall event that the Green New Deal, the ambitious environmental plan to cut the country's carbon emissions by 50% by 2030, was going to be the great society, the moonshot, the civil rights movement of our generation. Republicans in Congress called it elitist. I think we should not focus on the rich, wealthy elites who will look at this and go, I love it because I've got big money in the bank. Everyone should do this. We should all sign on to it, said Rep. Sean Duffy, R. Wisconsin, but if you're a poor family, just trying to make ends meet, it's a horrible idea. This is not an elitist issue, this is a quality of life issue, said Acacio Cortez, who recently raised the legitimate question of whether it is okay to still have children considering climate change. You want to tell people that their concern and their desire for clean air and clean water is elitist, she said, in response to Duffy. Tell that to the kids in the South Bronx, who are suffering from the highest rates of childhood asthma in the country. Tell that to the families in Flint whose kids have their blood ascending in lead levels, their brains are damaged for the rest of their lives. Call them elitist. Acacio Cortez continued, we talk about cost. We are going to pay for this whether we pass a Green New Deal or not. Because as towns and cities go underwater, as wildfires ravage our communities, we are going to pay. And we are either going to decide if we are going to pay to react, or if we are going to pay to be proactive. Last year, the world's leading climate scientists released a report as a part of the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, warning that the world has until 2030 to cut carbon pollution to avoid the worst effects of global warming, such as rising ocean levels and devastating storms. Some consequences are already being felt. The debate has shifted in recent years, environmental issues, once the province of elites, are now seen as affecting all communities and classes. Among Democrats, at least, not to care about climate change is increasingly seen as a form of racism. Air and water pollution, increasing temperatures and extreme weather are a growing concern among people of color. In the past, relative elites controlled the narrative and really gave a false impression in terms of who was concerned about this and was actually impacted by it, said Jacqueline Patterson, senior director of the NAACP's Environmental and Climate Justice Program. For some communities, it really is a life and death situation for all of us, but some communities more than others. And so, it's the very antithesis of an elitist situation because communities of color, low-income communities, women and indigenous communities are actually disproportionately impacted. Even the Movement for Black Lives lists climate change as a concern for African Americans, alongside issues such as health care and education. It argues that black people are amongst the most affected by climate change. If we're not serious about reducing emissions, the planet will keep getting hotter and black people will continue to bear the biggest brunt of climate change. On Monday, Earth Day, Democrats announced the formation of a U.S. Senate Environmental Justice Caucus, to be chaired by Tammy Duckworth of Illinois, Tom Carper of Delaware and Cory Booker of New Jersey. Increasingly you are hearing more and more people framing climate change as a civil rights issue or as an environmental justice issue, said James Marshall Shepard, director of the Atmospheric Sciences Program at the University of Georgia. That's because marginalized populations including African American and Hispanic and other disadvantaged communities will bear and are bearing the brunt of climate change impacts now and going forward, while at the same time have a very small carbon footprint. But here is the challenge for African Americans, Hispanic or even broader population, 
continued Shepard, who's previously posed the question of whether black people cared about climate change. The way we have traditionally as a scientific community messaged climate change is that we've not messaged it has been about people's kitchen table issues, their lives right now today. It always is projected as this thing off in the future. A decade ago, the Yale Program on Climate Change Communication reported how different communities view climate change. White Americans far outpaced African American and non-white Hispanics in their awareness of the issue, while 66% of white Americans were fully convinced of the reality and seriousness of climate change and were taking individual, consumer, and political action to address it, only 11% of African Americans and 15% of Hispanics were doing the same. But within the past decade, leading civil rights organizations have taken up climate justice in their host of priorities. The NAACP Environmental and Climate Justice Program began in 2009 because we saw a connection between issues like pollution and sea levels rising and the effect those are having on the health and well-being of African American communities and lower income communities. In their 2017 publication Just Energy Policies and Practices Action Toolkit, the NAACP crafted strategies for low-income communities to address environmental and climate justice issues, pointing out that climate change disproportionately affects people of color. For instance, the fact that people of color have historically been relegated to living in lower, flood-prone areas that are also vulnerable to flooding during extreme weather events and to sea level rise or that 25% of the African-American population lives in the five Atlantic states most vulnerable to climate change, or that nearly one in two Latinos live in counties with poor air quality and their children are twice as likely to die from asthma as non-Latino whites, according to the American Public Health Association. African-American, Latinos, Shepard told News Pulse News, they generally understand that like everything in society when America catches or a cold, we get a fever. Now what you have to do to really stimulate action is remove this notion that is something far off in the future is about some polar bear or butterfly somewhere. It's actually about agriculture. It's about national security. It's about public health and health care. Things people care about every day. Shepard added, we don't act until there's a tragedy. There are still many black and poor populations and communities in Houston that still haven't recovered. There still are communities in New Orleans that still haven't recovered from Katrina in 2005. When asked if black Americans were more focused on social, criminal, and economic justice than on climate change, Shepard said, you're always going to have competing issues, but I guarantee you that almost every single one of those other issues that you could raise as important to black people, there's a climate connection. Even criminal justice reform, because studies show that violence and criminal activity increases as the temperature increases. If you talk about jobs and job access for African Americans, well, one of the main solutions to climate change is a new economy, a decarbonized economy that moves jobs in places like a solar and wind energy. They definitely understand the severity of the issue, said Alvaro Sanchez, environmental equity director at the Greenlining Institute, about the communities he works with to lessen the disparities of climate change. But it's hard to focus on that when there's no food on the table, when you don't have money for rent, when you don't have health care, where your immigration status is precarious. There's just so much more that's more immediate. Sanchez's organization is one of the organizers behind California's Transformative Climate Communities, TCC, program, which he told News Pulse News addresses climate change on a neighborhood scale. The program provides resources to five disadvantaged communities to invest in neighborhood scale sustainability projects, Sanchez said. Sanchez says California's TCC program blazes a trail for the Green New Deal. The umbrella of the Green New Deal is not just about the planet, it's about our economy. It's about how we live. It's about our governance. It's about how we make decisions about our future, he said. But one of the main issues with the Green New Deal was its hefty price tag. Republicans had estimated it would cost $93 trillion. 
Sanchez says that communities like South Los Angeles and Sacramento have been awarded grants between $20 million all the way up to $70 million to invest in an area that's no more than 5 square miles. Although Trump has challenged the existence of climate change and claimed that wind power turbines cause cancer, his top federal energy regulator recently said, climate change is real. As for fighting climate change on a federal level, Sanchez said he hopes, over the next few years, that the Green New Deal is going to be more detailed about strategies to ensure that that a call to action actually delivers something down the line that is going to address not only the climate crisis but the economic crisis, the housing crisis, the employment crisis and our democracy crisis that we are seeing now. We have to address this as though it's a crisis because it is, and everybody has to contribute the way that we've done in the past for things like wars added Sanchez. We are fighting the biggest war of our lifetime. It's not a crisis that's coming. It's a crisis that's here.